I also got lots of these over the summer, which also wiped out my Halloween money. Because each of these costed about, some of them costed $30, some of them costed $40, some of them costed $50. I got the lot of two green and for $50, which is a good price because two for the price of one. But that one's been getting non-stop, non-stop constant wires off. That one I've had since I was like nine, eight or nine. That clear one, I think that was in the $30 section. That one I got in 2009, and I was so happy with it. And then the silver one in the back, that was just, that was, has burn marks all over it. Um, that one, I paid 50 bucks for it, and they burnt it and stuff, and it was broken, the legs. The red one was like 40 or $50 as well. See, I spent a lot of money over the summer. And I would have had a lot more props too, because I worked long hours. I got a lot of props this year. But just think, if I wouldn't have gotten all this, look, think about all the other props I got. But I just, I don't want just Halloween. I want robots too. And Robo Wisdom, the fake version of Robo Sapien. But his legs are broken right now. He's unable to walk until he gets repaired. So yeah. Which he can. I just need to find a broken Robo Sapien that won't be repaired somewhere. And then I can repair him easily. So yeah. I never got the Spanish Buzz Lightyear. I almost got him, but instead I got the RC and the Legend of Naro Battling Bugs. Based off the Hexbug Company. <laughs> but not quite as good, because when they flip over they can't get up. And their battery life is only like 20 minutes. Or less. Some of them were only like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> But as you you get the point, I during ha close to Halloween I collect Halloween. The rest of the season I try to do robots because I'm trying to beat the record of both Halloween and robots. They're both plus Halloween are robots as well, sort of. Pretty much, I mean they count actually, as far as I've been told. Halloween props do count as robots, so they're pretty much the same thing. But these ones walk. <laughs> and they're more, they're interactive. They don't only say and do one thing. <laughs> but they're still all cool. I like them all. <laughs> so yeah. But Halloween props do break more than robots, but robots still break a lot. But I like them both. Don't think I like one more than the other. Because I don't. I like them all. It's just the time of year. When it's not Halloween. I usually don't want to use all this stuff. Because then it's going to be broken by next Halloween. And stuff. And I've done that lots. I, I've used all my floating ghosts year round. Which they didn't really break. They actually lasted me a long time. Longer than anybody else. I mean. Because I used them. Over and over. Every day. Non-stop. On and on and on. Every time their fishing line string broke, you fixed them. They were easy to repair. I wish they could go back to making easy props like this that are easy to repair because I've made videos of how to fix them and it's not that hard. Although it has been probably been about two years since I fixed one now. But these things, usually it's the circuit board or the gears. Those never had broken gears. The motors wouldn't die as much they because i've used i've had i've been collecting those since 2004 i think that's when i got the first one or five whatever it's still the same thing they've gotten lots of use and their motors just went and went and went they got hot but they didn't blow out you know they, they were good the rubber belt broke sometimes, but that was easy to repair. Now it's all these gears, they're plastic, the metals that break and stuff they've got. Yeah. <laughs> these were easy to repair, and I, I really wish they would continue making these because I really actually miss collecting them because 
it was fun having them all set up across the whole room. And back then, we even had toy boxes that were that took up as much room as all these props do. And this room still seemed bigger back then. And there was even more in here back then at that time. At least the toy boxes were stacked up to here. And the toy there was toy boxes all along here. And this room still seemed bigger. I don't know how. But it was it was clean back then. Well. For a little bit, then I made it a mess again, <laughs> like always. <laughs> but why can't they go back to making them? I mean, I know I probably wouldn't collect them as much anymore because this stuff is more realistic, but they were cool. I would like other people to get the chance to do what I did when I was a kid because it was so awesome. No, I don't want to sell them, but <laughs> I'm just saying, if they brought them back, some other people could start a big collection like I did when I was a kid. And then they can do the same thing, and this can go on and on. Because it's hard to use them now with all this big stuff, because their heads will go down, they'll cover up the props and stuff to get in the way. That's why usually there's five of them on one hook, because they have to stay out of the way. And all mine pretty much are dead, though. They've lasted a long time. They haven't broken. They've lasted years and years and years. Of constant play. These I can't use very much. They, as someone said, they are made to last one or two weeks if they're used constantly. Other than that, they are not going to last. If you use them one or two weeks, they're going to be broken then. These are made to be used for years, but these are only made to be uh, last a week or two, depending on how much you use it. But I think I've gotten pretty lucky here this year. This year I haven't had to return one prop this year. Usually I have to return a couple because in 2010 I had to return the Demonica which wasn't actually that broken. It, I, either it was the rubber belt or the motor was dying which was like all of them did. Not hard to replace. It wasn't the circuit board. This one's not good either. I, and I, look at how much I've fixed her up. How much I've messed with her to get her working. She was a pain to get going. But she, I kept forcing her up, forcing her up. She just, she's, I, I got her going. I got her budging. When you first turn her on, she won't go. But she, as she keeps going, she'll get faster and faster. But if she goes too much, she'll get slow and she'll blow out her circuit board. So we don't want that either. But that's what most with most of the props. When you first turn them on, they're going to be slow. You got to activate them at least ten times, and then they're going fast. Like her head, it won't really turn when you first turn it on. But after like ten times, she'll go fast. Zombie barrel won't bar will barely rise out of his barrel when you first turn them on. But after a couple of times, he'll be just flying up. the The first time you ever plug them in from out of the box they're going they are extremely slow but they get faster and faster and then they break <laughs> but yeah i see i've i've been pretty lucky though because this stuff has lasted me a lawn for as much as i use it see it he's randomly going off every two minutes and he's been doing this for hours and days that's my base from that's my base from 2009 the, I got this, I got the body with the base and tombstone, it came with everything. In 2012, I plugged in the fog machine, it just blew the circuit board right out. It couldn't even hold a fog machine. But this is my base from 2009, the one that quit talking. And it's still going. I can plug in the a, a 700 watt fog machine or 1000 watt and it's just gonna go. This, they used to be stronger back then. Look at how long he's lasted. I've had him since 2010, and I had one back in 2009 too, which is, that's my 2009 one. That's my 2009 Rising Reaper. <laughs> I just put the witch on it. And then the telescoping new unit is my old hovering ghost. See, I, I have had doubles of all these. I've had two of him. He's actually... The, the new one I got in 2012 was actually my fourth one of him because my second one didn't work once at all out of the box which a lady at Spirits also didn't work at once out of the box and she was mad and she bought hers back in 2010 as well so in 2010 those were pretty defective 
And then I returned it, got that one, and that one worked for a really long time. It worked pretty good. But I just hated how when it goes up, it just goes right back down. I hated that. So I took out the relay switch so it stays up the whole time the audio is on. And then it goes down when the audio is done. But then when it rises up, it won't blow any fog because it has to hit the relay switch to blow the fog out. But so then I just made it like that. But when you take out the relay switch, the motor keeps spinning and spinning and it gets hot. So he is really slow. He's about to blow out his circuit board for good. His audio is about out. His circuit board is almost completely dead. His eyes never stop lighting up. I mean, he's in bad shape. His he's, his gears are all about to break. Um, his motors keep dying. The plastic on his motors get too hot and then they break apart. And... Yeah, it's, but I just want it to stay up the whole time. When it gets up, I don't want it to go back down in five seconds like they're supposed to do. I don't get why they did that, but yeah. But this stuff has lasted me a long time because I've used it more than anyone else ever has. Because people usually just use it a couple days and put it away. Where I have used it a lot. Um, in 2010, I had to return to Monica. I was about to return Resurrection Mary for another one. I should have done it. My new one could have lasted till now. But it started working again. Her head stopped spinning a little bit. It just got stuck. It got hair in it. But it started going again. But oh, it still affected it when I tried it again later on this season. I should have returned it. <laughs> uh, so in 2010, I had to return a couple of things. 2011, I had to return John Doe. Gravedigger, uh, a couple of others, I'm sure. Maybe, maybe those were the only two. 2011, Rosemary was about to be sent back. Well, I just wanted an exchange, but they didn't have any more, and they never replaced it. There was, we messaged them to send us a new body. Never came, of course, like always. But fixed it up. But that's, and she's 2011, so yeah. Uh, I don't remember what else was returned in 2011. Flesh Eating Zombie broke in 2011. Uh, a lot of stuff broke of mine in 2011. As you notice, I don't really have any of my 2011 props anymore. Even my Demonicas don't work. So 2011, I thought for sure that year everything was made strong, but as far as I can tell, the only 2011 props I have now is Rosemary. And that spider, which is still about to break. And a little bit of Demonica. Not much. I used to have so... It, the Harvester is 2011. And then in 2012, I had to return Chain to the Grave, Pop and Goblin. And yeah, this year, everything's worked for me. I didn't have to return one thing this year. I got all good ones. And it's a good thing. But I'm sure those guys are going to break. If I keep using them, they'll break. But yeah, he's the only one that doesn't really work. And the chirps don't work perfectly. But there, this has been a display since 2011. It's been the same exact display. How can I tell? They all look the same. No, this one's different. This one's shaked more than it's supposed to. The arms go really far. And I just know by how loud the clicking is on this. But yeah, it's... It's the same exact display, and then 2012, it worked for a while, but it died later in 2012, and then I'd set up again in 2013, I have to push the arms, I just turned it off in 2012, 2013, I had to take it back down though, and I bought it because it was broken, and it was the last one that was ever going to be here, and I wanted it now, because it's awesome with the fog machine. That's why I wish Guardian of the Grave stayed up longer so it could blow longer fog, but he only blows like two seconds of fog and goes back down. It's dumb. <laughs> and those, I got, I purposely got the messed up chirps. I know their mouths were good as one told me, but yeah, I purposely got them because I know if someone else would have gotten them, they would have been insane. They would have wanted to sue spirits. I mean... People overreact over anything. Because earlier, the, I remember earlier this year on Facebook, everyone was saying all the props suck this year and they're all stupid and stuff. Um, I don't know, it turned out pretty good to me. 
I think they were okay. But, what can you say? Uh, out of time.